Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Trials Rising. This is the Route 66 DLC. It's the first DLC expansion in Trials Rising. And in this video, I'll be showing you all 14 of the squirrels. Sorry this video is one day late as I did take a little bit of time off, but let's just jump right into it. There are a total of 14 squirrels for us to attain. There's also a couple of missable achievements or trophies for doing level specific things that I will be showing you in this video as they do go with the squirrels. But for the first one out of 14, we're just going to go in order based on how the game organizes them. We're going to go to Seaside Promenade, or Promenade, depending on where you live. And near checkpoint 6, you will be able to bail out and up, grab onto a balloon using the Y or triangle button, and then ride that ba balloon, dodging the other balloons and birds to the top in order to grab the squirrel. The higher onto the balloon you grab, the easier this part will be. Next up, we have the level Demolition Day, and this happens at checkpoint 3. What you want to do is just drop down at checkpoint 3 and watch out for the explosive barrel, and then reverse into the container kind of behind you and underneath you. And this will trigger a little bit of a mini game where you uh, use a car to drive around a track, and what you need to do is beat the 21 second target. This actually plays better than the game Scale Electrics, if anyone has played that. I do actually have a video about that game. It's a slot car racer, one of the worst games of all time. But what you need to do is finish a lap in under 21 seconds. If you're not successful, you get to keep going until you are successful. And then once you finish, it will kind of give you a best lap. It'll stop your car for you and throw you back into the game. And then you just drive forward or ride forward and grab the squirrel. Next up on along the mother road, we're at checkpoint number five. And for this one, what we need to do is just go up the ramp in front of us and then bail out and fall in the crack in between the downward ramp after that checkpoint. You have to wiggle a little bit, but once you drop in, you should be able to basically automatically pick up this squirrel. Next up, we have the level ghost town. Just starting the track from the very beginning, continue past checkpoint two. And then instead of dropping down, what you want to do is bail out, go forward, and hit the little mounted moose head. When you do that, it should light up a little bit of a pinkish purple. And then you just reset and continue the track. And then you will be forced to do a loop-de-loop -loop after checkpoint 3. Instead of going full speed, you kind of want to drop down and under where you're supposed to go into a purplish pinkish light that'll take you into a alternate reality. Now what you need to do is just basically finish this section of the map. What I was doing was I was basically using the Mantis, so the best bike, instead of the Rhino. I think the Rhino can overshoot. And basically I was always applying my gas. Even here where you would normally allow your bike and gravity to take you through a jump, I found that using gas actually sets you up perfectly for the next jump every time. And also, additionally, after you do pick up the squirrel, drive past and continue going past the squirrel to re-enter the level. And that'll actually earn you the infinite number of realities achievement slash trophy, which is a secret one for traveling to a different reality in this level. Next up, we are on the level Mind Your Own Business. If you reverse from the start, you'll notice there's a C4 pack. You don't have to reverse, but whatever. Uh, we'll continue past and go to checkpoint 4. This squirrel actually reminded me of a lot of the retro squirrels. Brought back a lot of memories from uh, Trials Fusion as well. So that was pretty fun. But continue past checkpoint number 4. And then what we'll need to do is use our front tire to slowly press the little dynamite charge. And what we need to do from this point on is basically reverse all the way to the beginning of the track. I don't know if you're allowed to fault. I imagine if you fault, you just end up back at checkpoint number four and you have to press the button again and then reverse all the way to the beginning again. So I think you're allowed to fault as long as you can kind of do this whole reverse section in one go. So you have to reverse all the way from checkpoint uh, four, pass three, pass two. There's a little bit of a drop down to go to the beginning, which can be a little bit tricky if you're not uh, going fast enough. But just keep reversing past the start line and you should easily bump into the squirrel. Just keep reversing until you pick it up. Oh, 
Next, we are on across the canyon at checkpoint two, nice and early in the level. What you want to do here is get onto the balance beam slash seesaw, and you want to make it face downward, and then you basically want to ride underneath where we're supposed to go to get onto this beam. There you can go on to this kind of elevator, make sure you stop and let it bring you all the way to the bottom. Then there's a couple of platforms we have to navigate. This isn't too hard. Another balance beam we gotta make sure to ride across and then get to this next elevator, which will bring you up. If you wanna get extra style points like me, make sure you do a backflip here and then just ride straight into your squirrel. Next up, we are on the level of the Windy City going past checkpoint number nine. As soon as I do that, I'm gonna reset the checkpoint on purpose and then just let gravity carry me through and enter into a secret room by going underneath the little beam we're supposed to travel into. If you're on the Mantis, gravity will get you here every time. Now you'll enter this kind of little secret room where you have to go across these balance beams and get all the way to the end. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that these are very fragile, so they will crack underneath you. Don't lollygag and spend too much time on any of these beams or else you will crash through them. Luckily, there is a checkpoint at the very beginning that allows you to retry if you do fail. Ride to the squirrel and then continue riding past the squirrel in order to unlock a secret achievement or trophy called Beat the Heat for braving the burning building. Next up on the level, Cadillac Rancher. From the very beginning, all you want to do is lean back and then hold the uh, left trigger. In order to reverse, this will get you up a ramp into a container behind you where you will find the next squirrel. Now on Seaside Meltdown, you're going to want to work your way past checkpoint 7, 8 and up to number 9. At checkpoint number 9, what you want to do is basically just bail out and go underneath you and behind you. There is a small raft in the water here and I would recommend trying to hold Y or Triangle to grab onto it. If you don't grab onto it, you can slide off. This raft will then take you straight to the squirrel and you should automatically basically pick it up. On the level convoy, you want to make your way to checkpoint number nine. And then what you want to do is basically make your way over the small little log and land on top of the truck, but make sure you don't make your way off the truck onto the pavement below it. If you wait here long enough, the container will drop down and then open up and you can just reverse straight into it, obviously revealing a cleverly placed squirrel. We are now on the level Rocky Mountaineer. You want to just work your way through the track at your own pace past checkpoint eight and then make your way to checkpoint number nine. At this checkpoint, what you want to do is basically get a lot of speed up the ramp, bail up and forward and then hold Y or triangle to grab onto this kind of little hanging beam. At this point, the beam will now take you to the left, and you're going to have to do a series of transfers, as you can see on screen. What I would recommend here is just, at your own pace, rock back and forth until you're comfortable with the you know, frequency of how fast you're going back and forth and, and how hard you're doing that. You can do everything kind of in transition and make it all really, really quick and fast, but that's obviously a little bit riskier and you're more likely to fall. So I would just recommend that you grab on and then at your own pace kind of swing back and forth until you make your way all the way across. Once you do make your way all the way across, there will be a very obvious squirrel hanging out and waiting to be picked up on a platform. At that point, you just need to uh, release yourself from the final kind of beam and fall into him in order to pick him up and you're good to go. On the level pit stop, you'll want to make your way to basically the last checkpoint, which is checkpoint number nine. At this point, you want to go forward and then bail up and over the obstacle, landing just after it into a small pipe opening, and then you should be dropped straight into the squirrel. We are now on the level the petrified forest from the very beginning. You can reverse into a mine shaft, and there is a little bit of a secret puzzle here. It's very easy, though. You want to back off to the left and then land on the platform and then go to the right and land on the platform underneath. Make sure you're traveling pretty slow so you can land. Now at this point you should start seeing explosives on either the left or the right of the screen. And basically whichever direction the explosive is in, that is the direction you want to travel in. 
So you can see an explosive here on the right of my screen. That's the direction I'm going to go. Now on the left of the screen, and that's the direction I'm going to go until I get to the squirrel. Once I do reach the squirrel, make sure to continue riding past it in order to get the Spelunker achievement or trophy, which is a secret one for navigating the underground caves on this level. And it should unlock once you reach kind of the next checkpoint. Last, but certainly not least, we have Mine the Big Gap. For this one, get to checkpoint three, then bail off the ramp up, and you should find a small hook, which you will be able to grab onto. You'll want to start rocking yourself to the left and to the right, and then once you reach the top, you should be able to rock yourself straight into the squirrel. Doing this will unlock all of the squirrels, obviously. You'll get a Uplay reward as well as your achievement or trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O, and hopefully I see you guys soon. Peace.